Hey there guys and welcome back to Nimby Rails. All the stations are in place so now it's time to put the track in between them. You see we get a reasonable amount of coverage in that. The trains on the Porter Direct Line do not stop at most of those stations. <laughs> but we can pretend. At the same time I need to decide because I'm going to end up having to run express down one line stopping down the other rather than how it actually works. I need to decide which line's which. The heat express on the left and stopping on the right, as that's how it actually is up at Wimbledon after the flyover. So that makes the most sense to me. Can I seriously not get across that water? Well, that will do it. Alright, um, I've lit a new hall. Okay, this is where I need to do the awkward junction. So. I'm going to track out like that. We need to branch off like so. Technically, this is a single track, but there's only so much I can do. This goes underneath, around here, and stops because I can't afford to build it any further. This branch comes up here. This is also only a single track. Then, because you can't just make it do a bridge itself, you have to build a viaduct, which is a bit excessive. So, build a viaduct. We carry on. There we go. Meanwhile, a set of points out here comes out to there. Okay, welcome back. I've not finished yet, I'm still here. 
um, whatever here is, uh, Clap Junction area, because wow, there is a lot of track to build, and it's not exactly clear where half of it goes. Um, I'm building this entire junction from memory, which isn't ideal, because my memory isn't always the greatest. But we'll see how it turns out. That's way too far. Um, back to normal. Uh, so this is the southern lines up to um, Victoria. I'm putting in right this second. I have to come round there. And then we have this track links up to there. That's the overground, that's where southeastern goes. So I think next stage is Southwestern Railway into Queenstown Road. Now, I've just remembered that actually there's only two tracks on the Windsor lines here. So I think something like that happens, if I'm not mistaken. It probably happens a bit closer to Clapham Junction, somewhere where the yard is, but that'll do. It also occurs to me I should probably put the depot in. Um, it's sort of a shed there, and another one there, maybe one out here. That should be sufficient. I can't get a track through there, but... Maybe if I fired up to I can. No. Yes. Yes. Then I have to squeeze it into this gap. Like so. I have to have a branch off of there up to this shed. And another branch off of here into that shed. Then Branch from there to there. Branch from there to there. There's really not enough space here. Now I think really what I'm going to have to do is just once we're over here, put that in. Then put that in. I think it's it's fast to slow or slow to fast. I'm not sure which, so I'm gonna do both. It doesn't actually get used in normal service, but I have it in anyway. Accuracy's sake. Have it come out like that. There we go. That's sufficient junction, so technically this ladders all the way up into the yard, but that's a lot of effort. Uh, might be able to do it. It looks weird, but it'll do. Okay. And it comes up here through Queenstown Road and starts heading up to Vauxhall.
Now, just by virtue of the way the game works, I'm reasonably confident the catchment on Waterloo is going to be terrible. Because there's not many residents there, and its main catchment is tourists and visitors to the city. I guess in terms of commuting it will work if the game simulates commuting properly. I don't really know what it does with that. But if it's only working off how many people live in the area, then it's going to do terribly at Waterloo. But we're almost done. We're almost finished. It's going to cost over a billion, so I'm quite glad I went on to unlimited money, otherwise it would have taken weeks of running the game constantly to build that up. Done. <laughs> Finally. And now I need to work out what's broken. If I zoom right the way in and center it. This is where it's complaining. Okay, here's an idea. I'll just delete the depot. Yep, it was that particular depot. I think it's the roads here. It wasn't wasn't happy about. Build. Done. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> it doesn't look horrible at all. This is perfect. Um, lines. New line. Guess what? It's going to be blue game. Blue. Uh, S W R P M H to Watt Fire Guild for Guildford Fast. Uh, but now I've started with P M H, so now I have to go down and start at P M H. Um, C, sure, why not? A C. Not Hilsey, not Bedhampton, haven't. Then skip to Petersfield. A. Skip to Hazelmere. A. Skip to Godalming. A. Skip to Guildford. Uh, e. Skip to Woking. C. Now then. Uh, it's Woking, I'm not 100% if they do Clapham Junction or not technically, but we're going to make it do Clapham Junction. E. And... Up to W, X. Up to X platforms. Um, then we come in here and go into S. And my phone's vibrating again. I thought I muted it. Apparently not. Uh, Clap Junction down to Woking. Uh, realistically, it should be over here, but it's. I mean, there's a junction there, but. That'll do. Guildford. F. I want F. Thank you. Godalming B. Hazelmere B. Petersfield B, haven't B, Fratton B, B, and we're back. I think that should all work as I intended to. Um, okay, we want a minimum interval 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes a train will run. Travel times, ideal speed 120, sure. Estimate. Uh, 
on a minimum wait to either end of 15 minutes. Um... Who knows, honestly, quite how long that journey is going to take. I'm not sure I want to even consider. Uh, Shall we say four train? Well, it's a, I know it's like a two-hour journey. Uh, so we're going to need like eight. That's a lot of trains. That's a lot of trains. Eight. Uh, schedule of multiple. They're all going on that. This is not ideal. But we're getting there. I feel like this would have been an easier menu to use. <laughs> okay, and then a new line. Uh, Shokara, I want it to be blue. This is SWR PMS to Watt Slow uh, via Guild Slow. You know what? You know what I haven't done? What I haven't done is set a price. <laughs> Fifteen plus 0 0.05. Seems to work on the coastal route across to Southampton, so it probably works for this as well. I like ports for the South Sea. Fratton. And they don't really do Hill Sea. They do do Bedhampton. Hatford. Rowlands Castle. Petersfield. Liss. That's Hazelmere. Where's Liss? Liss. Lippop, Hazelmere, uh, Skip to Godalming, Farnham, Guildford, no, Guildford, Skip Warpleston, Woking, Clapham Junction. I'm also a bit bothered by the fact that they insist they drive on the right, but I can't really do anything about that. And you'll also come into S. Clapham Junction. Um, Woking. Guildford. Arnkham. Cordelming. Hazelmere. Lippert. Petersfield, Rowlands Castle, Havant, Bedhampton, Fratton. Estimate the travel times, set the minimum interval times. I want the minimum wait time at Portsmouth and South Sea to be 15 minutes. And at Waterloo to also be 15 minutes. I'm now thinking Waterloo might be better off being only 8 minutes. Um, 8. It's going to need a similar number of trains, honestly. See how this is going at Waterloo. Yeah, what's that?
Yeah, I think it's pretty much keeping up. Uh, new trains. Purchase eight. Hello. You're going to run on. Slow. 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 And slow. And there's one more line that I almost forgot about. Which is... The SWR HSL to what? Oh, that's it. That's all it needs. Uh, Fifteen zero point zero five. Uh, it starts at Hazelmere. And does. Whitley, Milford, Godalming, Barncombe, Guildford, Warpleston, Woking, Clapham Junction, and Underwater. No, I'll put it into the same platform at London again. Back down through Clapham Junction, Woking, Warpleston, Guildford, Markham, Coddlemay, Milford, Whitley. Estimate travel time, set minimum intervals. Hazelmeet, you're going to always wait 8 minutes. Because I can't afford to have you sit there for 15, basically. And at Waterloo, you can wait 8 minutes. And that's going to need, so let's say, 5 trains. I have no idea, but we'll go with 5. Uh, where are we going to start? we here. Okay. Which not a what? Which not a what? Which not a what? Which not a what? There we go. How are we doing? Passengers? There are passengers. How are the other routes doing? Fast line, which is bedded in a bit, has passengers. Uh, well, that train's doing really well. We just left Waterloo. Slow line. Unsurprisingly, not as many passengers, <laughs> because it's only useful for people wanting to go to Bedhampton, Liss, uh, Ronald's Castle, Liss, and Lippock. <laughs> um, people do seem to actually like. Oh, it does have a five thousand catchment area. A lot of people want to get to Clapham Junction on it, so I guess that's something. Clearly it is good for something. Hopefully I'm making good profits now. Who knows? Oh, there's a bit of a queue waiting at Hazelmere. <laughs> um, just run the time a bit slower. Well, no. No, you're meant to, but... This queue. What is going on? The trains trying trying to terminate in a platform that's currently got a queue of six trains. <laughs> uh, what might be worth doing then is quickly adding. Over here.
sorted. Then lines HSL to Watt at Hazelmere. That's Lippook. So at Hazelmere, could you, instead of Hazelmere A, go to Hazelmere C? There we go, that should help. Hopefully. Should get rid of a bit of more get rid of a bit more of the backlog. Southampton's broken again. It shouldn't be possible for you to break Southampton. It's not ideal that you do. But oh well. We now have a line all the way up into London, so that's something. So, thank you for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.